You know that Green Day song that goes like, My Well, I would love to play it on the drums, but there's just one problem. I don't know how. Over this next week, I'm gonna attempt to take my drumming from Tara Bull to Trey Cool. Now, in order for me to pull this off in just seven days, I put together these three fundamentals I'm gonna follow every single day to try to get there. The first thing is that rather than trying to brute force this with big, long hours of practice every day, I'm actually gonna embrace doing just three short practices every single day. So I'll start my day with a short 10 to 15 minute practice, Around lunch, afternoon, I'll do another 10 to 15 minute practice. And finally, before I go to bed, I'll try to get in just another 10 minutes. Number two, now if you're a percussionist, I'm sure you're already familiar with your rudiments. But if you're not like me, rudiments are these fundamental patterns and building blocks that crop up all throughout music. After I've done some super extensive research online, I have found these 12 fundamental rudiments that I'm gonna be practicing at all three of my practices every single day. The purpose of this is to help me build some rhythms into my brain and build some muscle memory and also just build up my dexterity and getting comfortable holding the sticks. <laughs> and finally, number three is a classic trick from music lessons and that is that I'm gonna start slow and build up the tempo faster and faster. Boulevard of Broken Dreams is at an eye-watering 167 BPM. And I'm pretty sure on day one, I'm gonna have to start at like 100 or something to try to work my way up there. And to make sure I follow through on this challenge, I texted the boys and let them know I'm gonna be drumming at this week's practice. So if I can't pull this off, this is gonna be really embarrassing. So apparently in the drum world, there are 40 rudiments to learn. I'm not gonna try to do that. I found an article from something called Lander that has the 12 essential drum rudiments. We got our rolls. We got our paradiddles. I don't know what that is. We got our flams. And we have our drags. But we're gonna learn together. So a paradiddle apparently is like this. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Okay, okay, not too bad. Now I'm gonna give a go to just a basic rock kind of groove. My foot wants to go down when my right hand goes down. It's like these two, these two are the same piece. So when I'm doing like a, ah, no, like, I'm, what do you even do with the toms? There's a flam called a flamicue, which is, is that like a barbecue flam? Drumio to the rescue once again. I feel better. He said, this rudiment is quite a tricky rudiment. Thank you. I needed that. I really needed that. Flamicue. Doesn't sound that good. Before I wrap up this first practice session, I'm gonna take one look at Boulevard of Broken Dreams and just try to learn one thing from it. I'm gonna try to copy and arrange it from this YouTube channel called Drum Mate. It is a really sick drum cover and I wanna do it just like you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, drum lesson number two. And the first thing I learned from last night was hearing protection. My ears were ringing after just that little bit of practice. FYI, PSA, little known fact, drums are loud. So Mr. Mike from Drumio, I've actually been working on my rudiments today. So I just wanna show off my 12 rudiments and where we're at. The paradiddle. The flam, not the phlegm. I learned how to do the drag. The paradiddle, diddle. That's really the name? The single Rademacue. Finally, say it with me, good old fashioned Kansas City style, Flamacue. So it's this song I know that has this really cool drum intro. I won't allow myself to get completely distracted by it, but I have found in every other instrument that I've learned that sometimes following inspiration is good and pushes you to try just a little bit harder. So I'm gonna let myself indulge. right? I went a little long today, but I'm going to wrap up the second press practice session with a full playthrough of the song at 125 BPM.
that was really hard at 125. I know this is every music student ever, but it seems like it would be slightly easier, just a little bit faster, but gonna trust the process, slow it down and get there. For the first couple days, I was having a lot of fun with it, but honestly, it was not going very well. I was really struggling with getting my rudiments up to any meaningful speed, and just learning the whole arrangement for Boulevard of Broken Dreams was just really hard. It's just a whole song is a lot to pick up on. It's now day three. I haven't done any practice since yesterday, so I'm just gonna sit down here, try to focus on the rudiments, and then try to focus on learning the song as much as I can today. Hey, I'm a rock star. For the most part, today's practices were uneventful, but not in a bad way. In the morning, I went over my rudiments and they went really well and were coming along. Then in the afternoon, I sat down and just worked through Boulevard of Broken Dreams over and over, trying to memorize the arrangement. I managed to get it up to about 140 BPM and I was kind of happy with that, though I would have liked to get it just a little bit more than that. Overall though, I would say everything was going super smoothly until I decided to do this. Just for laughs, I know I shouldn't, but I'm gonna try it at speed. I'm gonna ask you to trust that I made the right decision to protect your ears and not play you the audio from this. Now, technically, I did play it at speed, but we have to be very loose in our definition of what counts as playing the song. Day four, rudiment time. When I started today, I was feeling really good about the rudiments. I feel like I'm having a lot more control. I'm keeping time better. I'm not dropping sticks and they're flying all over the room. But practicing Boulevard of Broken Dreams has not gone well. I'm having a lot of trouble on that instrumental and I'm also having more trouble today with my kit, it has some issues with the kick drum and the hi-hat. I'm not a drummer, but I'm pretty sure my hi-hat is not supposed to do this. Because I'm missing a foot on this side. Yeah, as you can see, it's just off the ground. So I spent my whole practice pulling it back in. Ugh. I, I'm just having a hard time. So my goal was originally to get up to speed today so I could practice at speed the next three days, but I'm gonna aim for 155 and we'll see if I can go beyond that. Practice today was absolutely not going as smoothly as it did yesterday. I uh, was getting pretty frustrated. I was running into problems with the kit, of course, but mostly just not being able to get to the speed I wanted to and just fumbling and making a lot of mistakes, which probably is to be expected uh, at this point. But nevertheless, it was pretty frustrating. Uh, but I did manage to cheer myself up by doing some stick tricks. So I can say I'm a real drummer now. Booyah. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Kinda, kinda. I would love to say that things took a big 180 today and everything's on the up, but things really just went more downhill. It was a rough day, so I just had one opportunity here to practice late at night, and I had a lot more frustration, and things didn't go well, and to top it off, my recorder got corrupted, so I lost most of the audio for this practice. I think at this point, I just have to try it at speed. I have one more day, and then the next day everyone's here, so I'm just going to run it back and try to play it alongside of the drum mate video that I'm taking the arrangement from, and i see if that's a little easier. So I just wrapped up filming for day five, and this was definitely one of those two steps backwards kind of days. Uh, I had a hard time with everything from just staying on time with the rudiments to the song. I thought I would be able to get up to speed today, and it just didn't happen. So I don't know. Right now I'm feeling like this might not happen, uh, but you know what? We're committed at this point, so I guess I'll just have to see what happens tomorrow. I'm just going to... Try to sleep on it, get back at it tomorrow morning with the practice, do 
do some more in the afternoon, and hopefully, hopefully tomorrow, that'll be it, I can get it up to speed, so we'll see, got two more days before this has to happen. So it's day six, this is pretty much my last moment to get this right before the guys get here tomorrow. I have not got the song up to speed. I practiced it more this morning and I was playing it at speed, but I'm missing a lot, having a lot of trouble on the fills and then that final ending. So I'm just gonna work the song tonight, do a few rudiments at 167 and I'll just see if I can get there before the night's over. Okay, not too bad, a few mistakes in there. I'm just gonna run it back. Do it again, do it again. Well, that went pretty well today, actually. I had a lot of fear after yesterday, but it seems like that was mostly just a really off day. I felt pretty good the whole night was able to get through the song a few times at tempo. Now, I made a lot of mistakes, and I don't know if I'll be able to get them all worked out before tomorrow, but I feel pretty good. I think I can get through the song without completely falling off the rails. So, I'm looking forward to tomorrow, and hopefully, won't let you down, boys. <laughs> I am normally not a fan of practicing right before any performance. I find that I tend to get myself in my head and I start rethinking things when I really should go into it smooth. So I'm gonna give it one more run through, then I'm done, I'm out. So I'm here with our real drummer who graciously played some guitar tonight while I switched over to drums. Addison, give it to me straight. How was it? Not bad. I think he needs to work on his transitions a little bit, but overall okay. he has made quite a bit of progress in a week. Wow. What's the absolute worst thing that I do? You think too much about what happens <laughs> next. You gotta be more fluid with it. <laughs> what should my next step be if I want to keep improving? Yeah, no, kind of like I said, just work on not thinking as much about it. Feel the rhythm, go with it. Just do it. Cool. Well, thank you. This is words of wisdom.